Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and today we are doing a mod that I have been waiting years for. That's right. So today we are going to be doing the Gear VR lens swap on my new Cosmos Elite. And man, I can't tell you how excited I am. So let's go. Man, I am super scared and I'm super excited. I, you know, obviously this is a, a expensive headset. I don't want to mess it up. And some of you guys may be asking yourself, Don, why the hell are you going to put Gear VR lenses in a, a Cosmos Elite? Well, there's one good reason for that. And I think you guys that use VR know it. No God rays. I, I tell you, I, I have been plagued with the dreaded God rays that the Fresnel lenses cause since the original Rift, since the CV-1. I, I played a lot back in the DK2 days, like a lot of Elite, a lot of high contrast games. And then when the CV-1 dropped and the original Vive dropped and they had both switched to Fresnel lenses, man, I was so disappointed. I, I mean, I was actually one of the loudest voices out there in the community. I, when I wrote the article on VR Spies, it was literally the number one Google search for quite a while if you looked up Oculus and God Rays. So I can't wait to do this mod. I can't wait to take you guys with me and give you my thoughts as I do it and after I do it. So let's go. Okay, so here we have everything laid out that we're gonna need to do this mod. So we've got a can of air duster. That is gonna be very important here later on. We've got our freshly removed Gear VR lenses. We've got our ordered lens adapters. Uh, we have the Vive uh, Cosmos Elite, and we're gonna want a you know something with a nice blunt edge, be it a screwdriver. A, you could probably even use a butter knife for this. But most important is, is that it has a nice thin edge and you'll see why here in a minute. So first thing we want to do is we're going to go to, want to go ahead and put those lenses into the adapters. Now, um, I ordered these adapters off of eBay and you know, you can see they are 3D printed, obviously. Um, this particular adapter that I ordered, I'm not 100% happy with it. Uh, it does not have enough of a ridging here. So um, after I do this, I'll probably pull it back out and I'll work on some ways to affix the lens better. But for the purposes of the video, we're just going to go ahead here. Now, um, you, a couple of things, and I don't know if you can see that very well. The, the lens has a, a huge curvature to one side and it's flatter on the other. Obviously, the flatter side is what you want uh, facing your eye. So we're just going to go ahead and take that and take the flat end and put it right in there and boom. All right, there we go. So that one is, oops, no, I'm sorry. There we go. Now we go. Then you can hear it snap. So we'll do that with the other one here. Once again, always remembering to put the flat end out and start from the back, obviously. There we go. And click. There we go. All right. So lenses are ready to go. Next thing we need to do is we need to prep the Cosmos Elite here. Now, in order to do that, very simple. You're just going to remove the face shield here and we're going to set that aside. We do not need that right now. And that is going to expose the lenses. Now, this is where you really want to be careful, guys. You, you really want to take your time in doing this because this is the scariest part of the mod, let me tell you. So we got our screwdriver. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start right here on the flat end and you're just going to gently, you can see that kind of go down in there, you're going to gently put the screwdriver in there. Now, I didn't show it in this video. I do also recommend hitting these with a hair dryer for a split second, or if you have a heat gun, put it on low. You don't want to fry this thing with uh, you know huge amounts of heat, but there is a little bit of tape up in there, uh, a little bit of a double stick tape that you have to break out. Um, so, you know, by doing the, by heating that a little bit, it is going to make uh, the, the tape kind of loosen itself. So I had uh, freshly heated this right before the mod. So these should just pop out very easily as you can see here and boom, there we go. 
first lens is removed. So any tape residue that's still in there, you want to, yeah, I would say go ahead and leave it because it helps these guys to stick in place. So we're going to take that and we're going to set that aside. That's actually why I've got my painter's tape here. Um, I'll use that one on the next lens. Uh, if you don't have a little suction cup, um, it also uh, is helpful if you have something that you can uh, adhere to it. And once again, just go down the axis of the flat side here and gently, I mean gently pry up because you also don't want to break the outer uh, lens housing here because that's what the adapter is going to sit on. So now that I've got that loose, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a painter's tape here. Uh, very, you know, it's not as, as sticky and it's not going to leave a lot of residue um, like your other tapes do. And I'm actually just going to put that right over the lens and I'm just going to go ahead and pull up. Now, another reason I do that is this actually will work for a little safe keeping of your lenses here. Because, uh, you know, you want to store these. The nice thing about this is, is that the, uh, the mod is fully reversible here, guys. So that, that is one of the nicest things about this mod is, is later on down the road, if you want to go ahead and sell your device, if you need to send it back for service and you don't want HTC to kind of know that you did this, uh, you didn't hear me say that out loud. Um, you you, you want to save those lenses and keep them uh, good and intact there. So um, there we go. And we'll just leave that one like that for the purposes of the rest of the video. So, all right, we have got our Vive Gear VR lens adapters set up. Next step, easiest step in the world you're gonna wanna just pop those right in there. Now, before you do that, since we've opened this up, and if you didn't do it in a very clean environment, you probably just got a little dust inside your Vive Cosmos. So that's where our handy little can of compressed air comes in. What I recommend, I remember this from cleaning my DK2, uh, DK1 and DK2 lenses, you do not want to ever push this down or up. It can spray liquid. So just take your Cosmos and just Give it a couple of nice blasts of air there, all right? And that should have gotten the dust out. And we're gonna do the same on the lenses. So once we've given them a nice little blast of air, we are just simply going to affix the lens into place. And you don't feel it pop. You don't feel any sort of a, uh, any sort of a grab or a give. The, the lens adapters that I ordered, they seem to just slide right in there. So that's why you want uh, some of that glue residue because as you can see, that will now kind of hold that lens in place. So after that, there you go. We have installed the lens adapters. Now we just pop that baby back on and boom. There we go. We have the Vive lens adapters installed. All right, so you see that that really wasn't horribly technical. I, I tell you what, a little scary, you know, when you're putting a uh, screwdriver next to the lenses of your headset here. But overall, I tell you what, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So is it worth it? That's the big question. Well, you know, I was going to jump into some gameplay and blah, 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 like I always do. But then I started thinking, you guys can't see this. It's, you know, it's not like me describing a technicalities in a game or, you know, something like that. It, it's really a personal thing. You have to see it for yourself. And unfortunately, I'm not like the big YouTubers. I'm not made of money. I don't have super high end, you know, DSLR cameras where I can do macro shots through the lenses and all that. So you're just going to have to take my word on this one, guys. It makes a heck of a huge difference. I, I tell you, the sweet spot is massive now. It is crystal clear. And I, I'm happy to say I didn't see any sort of distortion, barrel distortion, anything. I, you know, the old mod, when you did it with the Vive, you had to kind of go in and edit config files and, and sometimes it would work and sometimes and they change it and then you have to go edit again. With this, so far, I don't know what the magic sauce is. Maybe it's the new screens. Maybe I, with the Cosmos Elites, I just popped it in and it just worked. So kudos 
to whoever figured this out years ago and for people, you know, coming up with the uh, updated adapters for the different things like the Vi Pro and the Cosmos now. Because I tell you what, I finally just got my VR that has no God rays back and I can't wait to jump into some Elite Dangerous again. So for me, that's gonna do it tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you did, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming by to check out what I do. And you know, you hear it all the time. Oh, hit subscribe, you know. How well, if you don't mind, yeah, if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe, ring the bell. That way you come along with me next time I do something cool in VR and if you're already a fan of the channel, I love you. You guys know that. So uh, if you want to see more tech videos like this, if you want to see more tutorials or mods or, you know, just, just me covering tech, let me know also down in the, uh, in the comment section. If you haven't noticed, I've been doing a lot more of these tech videos, and I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of enjoying it. So, but for me, I got to go play with this. I'll see you later. This is Don, signing off.